Hello, this is April with Craft Knife Chronicles and I'm here to share a new project with you. It's what I call the Secret Garden Star Book. Now this book was created with Graphic 45 Secret Garden paper. I used both the 12x12 paper pad and the 8x8 paper pad and it also features some Spellbinders Shape Abilities dies which we'll see as we look at the individual pages. On the front cover of the book we have the book closed with a belly band and this is a band that just surrounds the book and keeps it closed and it's held together with some magnets underneath this little panel that I cut from the 8x8 paper and so magnets just open up and so then this band can slip off you can see it's just a little circle here and then the front cover here is very simple it is just the main graphic pattern from one of the papers in the 8x8 collection. I wanted to keep it flat so that when the star book opens up, which we'll see here in a few minutes, it can open up neatly that there isn't too many embellishments in the way of creating the star. So that this is kept very simple. I have framed it with some green cardstock just to set off the image. So the book has five pages and we're going to look at each one in turn. I have it kind of sitting on my table right now, which is not the usual way you would view it, but it makes filming it a little bit easier for the camera. So, let's look at the first page. This is the first page in the Star Book, and each page consists basically of three panels of pattern paper. There is a panel in the background, that is made up of the solid pattern paper and in this case it's the beige paper called Seed Fairy. It's a little tricky to see through the die cut panel that's on top of it. And then there's a second panel and in this page it's die cut and it's die cut from the Spellbinders uh, Butterfly Garden. Uh, this die, it's a Shape Abilities die and I've cut it in a mirror fashion and if you're interested in how I create these die cut panels, there's a separate video that explains that. So it's a little bit tricky in this home lighting to, to get the full view of what that panel looks like. So I'm just going to slip a piece of white cardstock here behind it so that you can see all of the, the beauty of this panel. And hopefully that will show up a little bit more um, if we get rid of some of these shadows there. There, now you can really see it. And so around that uh, die cut panel, you can just see, I think, here on the edges, just a little bit of pattern paper coming through. The pages are all about almost 8 inches wide, not quite 8 inches wide, and about 7.5 inches tall on each side. So this, the the main page. Now, of course, in order to create the star book, each star pages, each one has to, each panel is a little bit smaller than the one in back of it. And so finally here on our front panel, we have uh, cut from the 12 by 12 paper, coming up roses, and then I fussy cut some additional roses here and added it to the frames on either side. So that's the page called Blue Roses. Now we've turned to the second page in the book, and I call this page Flower Fairies. And that's because there's these little girls hiding amongst the flowers, and I thought they looked like fairies. Now they, that may not be what they are, but that's just what they look like to me. You can see I've got them here amongst the page. Now this page has blue paper in the background, it's the paper called April Showers. And then the second panel is another one of our die cut panels. This one is from Spellbinder's Grateful Lattice. I think you can see the purple die cut in the background there without me sliding a piece of cardstock in behind it. 
So that was the Grateful Lattice. And then it's fr framed with a purple border of the sun-kissed paper. Now on the front panel, I've created kind of a little scene here. And it's very subtle, but there's a brick wall design here. It's just peach cardstock laid on top of this peach pattern paper. And that was created from Tim Holt's brick wall die. And then in front of that, there's some grass. That grass is Poppy Stamps Grassland Border. And one of the things I utilized for the first time in this project is a product called Stick It. This is what Stick It looks like if, it, if you get it in the long sheets. It is a very thin double-sided adhesive that you can put on your paper before you die cut it. And then what happens is you get adhesive adhered to all the tiny little things of your die cut. And it just works super to put these intricate dies down. So that's what I used on both the brick wall and the grassland. And up here at the top, I hope you can see this die as well. That is Spellbinder's Gilded Life. It's the one named Petite Monarch. So then I went on to create my scene by just adding some more of the pattern paper down here at the bottom. Fussy cutting some extra little flowers and some of the little fairies to go around at the top of the brick wall and down here at the bottom. I added a little bird, just some little details to make the scene come to life. So that's the second page named Fairy Flower Fairies. So now we're looking at the third page in the book which I've just called Fence and Flowers. I created this page just doing some fussy cutting from the large graphic paper from the 12 by 12 pad, which has a scene with this fence in the front here that you see, and then this little girl in the flowers behind here. So just by carefully cutting apart that one 12 by 12 page, adding some extra flowers to things, I was able to create this, this scene. So it just has the, the blue paper in the background, that's called Posy Patch, and then I cut the top flowers from the paper and then added, actually the little girl here comes from one of the cut apart cards because the girl that's in the, the feature pa paper I thought was just a little large for the scale of this page. And then I fussy cut the fence from the bottom of the page and cut individually in between each one of these little pickets, which isn't as uh, difficult and tedious as you might think. Um, so that creates this little scene in the center of the book called Fence and Flowers. Now for page four, which I've named Beautiful Blooms. On this page, we have a background that's purple. I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera. It's a pretty purple with a, a cream print on it that's called Sun Kissed. And then on the second panel, I used a Spellbinder's basic lattice die to create the lattice panel that is there. Then I did a lot of little fussy cutting of leftover scraps to add some of these elements that you see, the flowers and the little, um, I kept calling it a clock when I was building the thing, the building the pages, but it's actually, I guess, a sundial. And it's just some more a little fussy cutting of roses and other flowers. Now the front panel here is just cut from the paper called Beautiful Blooms, hence the name of this page. And I just cut, instead of just cutting straight edges, I cut around some of the blooms, some of the words here, just to make an interesting border to that frame. So that's the page called Beautiful Blooms. And finally, our last page, which is called Leafy Tree Tops. And this page features a peach paper in the background. And then the die cut panel is Botanical Swirls. And I know it's difficult to see this one as well 
in this lighting. So let me slip this cardstock behind there so you can get an idea of how beautiful this is. So hopefully that is showing up pretty well so you can see how that comes. And again, I created these mirror die cuts just with a special technique uh, using my Big Shot die cutting machine. And there's a video about that if you'd care to see it. And then on the front, I used some leftover paper to create this border. And then again, uh, just cut interestingly around the edges to create the frame to accent some of the birds and the bird and the bird cages. So that is the page called Leafy Treetops. Here's the back cover. You can see it's not particularly exciting. I just wanted to feature some paper that went along with the front cover and this is actually the back side of the paper that is used, uh, that feature paper on the front, so that uh, in order, and also to keep it nice and flat, so when it opens into the star, it is, um, it works very well. So next we'll take a look at this book in its star formation, so you can get an idea of what it looks like when it's on display. So I've moved the camera angle so we can get an idea of what this book looks like when it's on display. And I think you can see the star formation from this angle. And oh, let's just take a little spin around the book and look at the pages one last time. So here's Blue Roses. And then the Flower Fairy page. Fences and flowers with the little girl and the cutout fence. Beautiful blooms. And then leafy treetops. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this project. It certainly was a lot of fun to make and if you'd like to make one of your own I have a set of videos that I made while I was constructing the project posted on YouTube and there's also a link to the materials guide that I used for all the pages um, in the book. So thanks for watching and bye for now.